Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Cross Circle, the official podcast for PlayStation Source. This is episode 18. I'm your moderator, Christian Buckley, joined, as always, by Mr. Kevin Diaz. Yeehaw! What's up, bro? What's going on? That, <laughs> that's why I'm if sure you guys, you're going to retire next week. Yeah, if you, if you guys didn't catch the stream, uh, you know, you guys, you know, on, my, on the launch streams for the channel for launch games, I got to do a little dress up. You know what I'm saying? I got to make an event out of it, you know? Mm-hmm. You know? So, Spider-Man was the, was the Spider-Man mask. This one, I had a bandana and a cowboy hat. How much did you spend on that? Uh, do you really want to know? Because yes, I thought I it was going to be a lot less. Okay, so I thought it was going to be, like, what? Pretty pretty crappy cowboy hat from Party City and a bandana that looked like it was 50 cents, right? I thought it was going to be a solid, what, 10? You know? Mm-hmm. 15 at max, maybe? Oh, God, 15. So, yeah, no, I get, up to the, I get up to the register, right? So I'm thinking, okay, 15 bucks, 10, max, not whatever, right? No, Home, homegirl says 28.97. I'm like, oh my God. I would have just put it back. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, like, well, I mean, because like, I was in a rush. Like, I just got off work. I was trying to just go home and start streaming, whatever. So I was just like, all right, whatever, I'll just pay it. Like, who cares? So well, yeah, I uh, spent 28.97 on the hat and the bandana. So. Well, I hope everybody liked yep. it. <laughs> So, indeed, um, indeed. we don't really have anything to talk about as far as what we've been playing, but because of the news, because of an upcoming release, I thought it would be fun to open the show with a quick fire little question directed to both of us. Okay. Interesting. So Interesting. I, sorry. No, um, I was going to say, I, I have no idea what what is coming okay. i don't know good what i don't know what you're doing that's how i like right. it keep you on your toes i'm with it so with today is halloween when we're recording this and mm-hmm. this morning we got our first look at the remake of medieval announced at psx 2017 it's a full from the ground up from the grave up according to the trailer remake mm-hmm. of the ps1 game medieval and it's coming 2019. Next week or the week after, I forget which one it is. We're getting Spyro, the Reignited trilogy, Crash. We got last year, huge success. Still doing like well on the charts every month. So, I want to ask you: Is okay. there one game you can think of from the PS1, preferably maybe PS2 generation? Because we got Shadow of the Colossus this year, also. I'll give you that. That yeah. you want to see a full blown remake of? Oh man, okay, I'm trying to think. Okay, this is a deep cut. Okay, and I I recently thought about this game. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have no idea why I thought about it, and I have and and honestly, I have a question about said game for you as well. Sure. Okay, have you ever heard of the game Astro Boy? I've heard of the cartoon. That was like the anime thing, right? The manga, the, the little think, robot guy. Yeah, it was little robot guy. But you know, I was I was thinking about that game, right? Playing it as a little kid because I played that a lot. I have no idea why my parents got it for me. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it was like a gift or something from like a you know relative or whatever. I have no idea. But I played a lot of Astro Boy mm-hmm. on the PS2. Okay, now what I haven't looked it up yet, and I meant to look it up last week when I was thinking about it. But is Astro Boy somehow connected to Mega Man? Similar is art and sort of, similar, like, concepts. Because he is a robot, and he's made by doctors, so I'm like, wait, are they... And, like, the naming is similar in a, in a, in a very, you know, samey vein. Like, is... Are they related? Are they are, are they both a part of the Mega Man IP? Like, I... That's an odd question. So, okay, you have no idea what Astro Boy is, like, you... No, I, I know it. what it is. I remember... I don't know the game, okay. personally. I know the show, and yeah, I know yeah. the character. But okay, okay, okay. Drawing a yeah. blank on the game—is it like a platformer or is it? It was like a, it was like a, it was like a three D like open world type game, but like it was like open world hubs. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it wasn't like a full on open world, whatever. So like but, a Mario um, sixty four type deal. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Okay. Yep, yep. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. Love games like so, that. So, yeah. So I think that'd be cool to bring back, other than just like nostalgia for me, I guess. Mm-hmm. But um. Yeah, no, I can't think of anything, like, PS1-wise that I would like. I I know, uh, like, I would wipe out. 
that that wasn't original PlayStation and PS2. Maybe maybe PS2 was it? I think Wipeout was PS1. Wipeout. PS1? I think so. Well, we have that collection on the PSN. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I guess right. I I guess I don't know. I I guess I just would want more Wipeout in the future in terms of like new mm-hmm. games, but I doubt that. Ridge Racer as well, another big one. So the reason why I'm naming off these is just because like. Back in the day, I was heavily into racing games. Like, heavy. Like, that's pretty much 80% of what I played. Interesting. Racing I games, never really got right? into racing games outside of, like, oh Mario Kart and Crash. I love it. Like, dude, Need for Speed. I would play that religiously. Ridge Racer as well. Kind of. I know, like, Ridge, Ridge Racer like, has, like, a meme or something like that. Yeah. Where I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but I would actually legitimately like to see Ridge Racer come back. Mm-hmm. You know? Also Wipeout, also Astro Boy. But well, what, what about you, good sir? So you? you spawned a thought in me because I was actually listening to a podcast the other day and they said they wanted a new one of these and I was like, hell yes, because I love that game. Okay. Um, I'm going to do PS2 game. Okay. The PS2 is an interesting generation for me because m- the majority of what I played on it was like... I don't know the right term for it. I guess, like, the evolution of what 3D platformers were. So, like, your Ratchet and Clanks. Okay. Stuff gotcha. like that. So, Ratchet and Clank obviously got their remake of the original game by Insomniac. Mm-hmm. So, yep. I know there's a lot of arguing over which franchise was better out of, like, the three PS2 oh. mascots. And I can't really pick, but I would love to see Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy... I was about to get say a that, full yeah. blown remake because I love that game. I dope. think like revisiting him recently. I think the Precursor Legacy is the best out of those three, and the other would I be would... Sly Cooper because I love Sly Cooper. Ooh, okay, mm, okay. So out of those three, I preferred from back in the day and now Ratchet and Clank, mm-hmm. right? Then I probably go Jack and then Sly. Mm-hmm. Sly, I played one game on like the PSP. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, don't have really have a lot of ties with it, but, like, I did play through that one game on PSP. I forgot what it's called. It was a game but, on PSP? You know. Or I know there's one on I'm Vita. I'm thinking of the Vita. I'm thinking of the Vita. I am thinking of Vita. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, Vita one. Well, yeah. it's interesting because my bad. the one that was on Vita was made by a different studio. It wasn't Sucker Punch. Oh, really? Because Sucker well, yeah, Punch yeah, did yeah, Slide right, 1, yeah. 2, 3, and then they moved on uh-huh. to Infamous. To Infamous, yeah. And then I think yeah. Sanzaru came in and did uh, Slide 4. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Well, the uh, that I guess I never played any of the slides that were made by Sucker Punch. Slide Two is another top fifteen for me. Love that game. Real okay, mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah, yeah. But I think having a Jack and Daxter get that Ratchet and Clank twenty fifteen treatment would be dope. I think I yeah. think that'd be really really cool. I think I think, I think I think that would be a hit. Yeah, if we're only going for first games, because I think Slide Two is a better game than Slide One. If we're right, going first right. games only, then I would pick Ratch- uh, Jack and Daxter because that first game is so good. Jack 2 and Jack 3, soft spot in my heart because I love those games. And uh-huh. I couldn't have GTA when I was younger. So those were sort of my GTAs. Yeah. That and uh, Simpsons yeah. Hit and Run. So, um, yeah. Do do you like Sly 2 just because like it has a better narrative and like there's no way to kind of implement the good things of Sly 2 into Sly 1 in a remake per se you know so or like is it just that like slide two like is it just like the mechanics of it i think slide what makes two, it your favorite slide so. two overall is just better because the first okay. sly cooper game is similar to it's tough to say it's sly the first one is similar to like a game with hubs like you said um mm-hmm. it's like you're going after each criminal you go to a location uh, each location has a certain levels you go into, and then it's basically like a long hallway, avoid obstacles, do that kind of stuff. Similar to like a Crash Bandicoot with more of a little bit of an open level select. Right. Sly right. 2 is every thief that you go after has an open environment. You do all your missions within that environment. You see everywhere you're going to do a mission. Uh, you have access to the entire crew, Sly, Bentley, and mm-hmm. Murray, so they each have different play styles. And the heists just feel more elaborate. Like, you have the classic movie scene where, like, before the big heist, you're going through slides, and you're like, okay, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, that's going to happen, then we're doing this, then you just play the whole thing out. 
Right. So right. I just have more fun with Sly 2. I think it's a better game all around. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That's cool. Yeah, so. I mean, shout out that. I'm looking at right now. I have to know. Is Astro Boy connected to Mega Man? <laughs> Because it would, I it don't would think it is. I think it is similar. Like I definitely see where you're getting the comparison from, but I don't think they're connected. All right, from my quick Google search, it doesn't look like they are. All right. There was there was a movie in 2009. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Well. Well, there you go. You know what came out after 2009 in 2010? What 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 small game came out in 2010, sir? Red Dead Redemption. Interesting, interesting. Okay. You know what game okay, we're talking see, about see. on the podcast for the next half hour? Mm. Mm, mm, right. Mm. Okay, I remember that. Remember Red that. Dead Redemption yeah. Two. Small game, yeah. Made made uh made up by a small team, I feel you. I feel that. Red Dead Redemption Two. Now Before we get into it, I just wanna say <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> it's gonna be pretty much spoiler free. There is a prologue sort of first three hours ish. That leads into the open world. We're going to yes. talk about that yes. a little bit and probably just the first uh-huh. steps in the open world. So if you want complete no spoilers at all, then I'd probably click out. You could listen for a yeah. bit and see if you like what you're how we're talking. But if you're completely yeah. no spoilers, don't go in. If you're OK hearing about a few beginning things, then that's really all we're going to touch on specifically. And honestly, like, these few beginning things that we agreed to talk about, they are not imperative to, like, the story. They 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 aren't really anything that is insane. They're very much, like, it sets service the level. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a transitioning of spaces and tone. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, so it's not anything crazy. All right, you so you had your warning. So. Where do you yeah, want to start? Indeed. Where do you oh. Cause so I I want to I want to start with you, Christian. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. I want to I want to sit you down for a second here. So I remember <laughs> it was last week, right? You were telling me like, yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get home from school. I'm gonna take a nap to prepare for Midnight Red Dead Two, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everything's. I was like, oh man, like Christian's really about to like go 15 hours on his first session, something like that. So I get home, I stream. You know, I'm doing my session. I end, I think, on, like, uh, three or four hours, I think, my stream was. Like, it was it was something like that. Like, it was just a few hours. Not the longest stream in the world, but, you know, I just did three, four hours, something like that. Um, and so I get up, get some food, check on my friends list, thinking that, okay, I want to see how Christian, you know, how long he's in this, whatever. But you were already logged off. <laughs> and then I saw your tweet. And I was like, yeah, I'm enjoying it, you know, call it first night. But I'm like, man, like, wait, like. He said he was going to go, like, 15 hours and do all this crazy... And, like, I don't know if that was just hyperbolic from your end or whatever, but... Um, so, I was I, planning on doing an all-nighter. Yeah. I did not sleep when I wanted to sleep. Mm, so, okay. I was already okay. worn out. Um, gotcha. And, yeah, so... Gotcha. Okay, so it's not I don't, reflective of, like, the game's quality. No, 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 no. I, do, okay. I don't want to feed into this whole complaint about it, because it's not a complaint. It gotcha. does start slow. No, oh, but no, that's yeah, something no, I enjoy about it. I think it works. I think it works beautifully for how it starts. I think the slow start is necessary with everything they set up. Uh, but oh, it does. No, but yeah. it does start slow, and like after three hours, you hit the open world mark. And at that point, I think it was like three in the morning. I was ready. Right. I was like, I'm not ready to dive into this open world right now, so I'm just gonna go to bed. That was. Honestly, that was me as well. That was that was honestly how I played my whole thing as well. Because um, you you uh, you go through this linear part of the intro of the game. It's essentially the intro to the game, right? And it's like, what would you say, like three hours long? Maybe? It took me about three hours. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe like three hours long. We'll say uh, is this linear part in the beginning of the game, and then you get into the open world, um, and I. I remember I trimmed my beard, and then I'm like, eh, I have a couple options to go here and into the town, do this, that, and I'm like, no, nah, like, I'm just going to end it here. So I think we very much had like a very similar like first session where yeah. we kind of ended off right there. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, from I, what no, I can like praise about the first three hours is because of how linear it was, because of how the pace was. Uh-huh. I really enjoyed it because it was just like I sat down and watched a three-hour movie to set up what the game exactly. is going to be. I was like, this yeah. is great. I'm having a great time mm-hmm. just like learning about all these characters, learning about the relationships. 
being yep, I love that environment so much. Just like oh my god, winter or not even winter, it's it the looked, spring. It's like May. Just a storm in the mountains. It's freezing. You got your gang, Oregon Trail style. You're just going to yeah. a place to hide out, uh, do a few missions. Got your coats on, hot coffee in the morning. I really enjoyed that whole introduction yeah, setting. Yeah, it, and that whole introduction, that whole three hours, like th- it really shows that like this game looks amazing, like graphic wise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like obviously there are, you know, you can nitpick some. You know, instances where character models don't look as good, or you know, some some texture here and there, whatever. But honestly, like when you look at it in its whole entirety, like the fact that this is running on this hardware, I'm and playing it's an on a open pro world game at that. I'm also playing on a pro as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My brother so is playing I'm on a slim, so, and he's mm-hmm. saying like the exact same thing. So, right, right, okay. Also, yeah. I'm playing on. A, what's fun up? fact: he's on PC most of the time. He got a PS4 for Red Dead. Wow, look at that system seller. Yeah, system seller, system seller. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm also playing in 4K. I don't think you have a 4K monitor. I have TV. I super sampling have. on because I'm just on a 1080 okay. TV. Right, right. Okay. So wait, does it up the frame rate for you? No. Or no? It it's locked at 30. I think it's locked at 30 regardless. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. The only I difference is the okay. resolution. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, I'm sure locked at your 30, other... I've heard there are dips in some parts, and I've had a couple dips too, probably like 28. Yeah. I've I've felt dips here and there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just got done with like a two hour position. I definitely felt dips then. But, um, I wouldn't say it's anything that's like consistent or anything that happens a lot. Yeah, it's I nothing say. that's I don't think it, yeah. affecting yeah, me. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, just in 4K, I'm playing on a 4K monitor. It looks insanely good. It looks great. The lighting is amazing. Textures. This game is gorgeous. Yeah, obviously. I think... You know what I'm saying? Overall, like what you said, there are a little... There's an open-world game-ness to some of how it looks visually. Yeah, uh, like I think mm-hmm. hair is something Rockstar never really does well. Yeah, yeah, there's... Yeah, I'm thinking of one character in in specific that his hair just like looks like yikes you know yeah but, like, like again, even like on. yeah i don't think they've ever done hair well but yeah i think overall it is probably again overall entire game being accounted for probably the best looking game i've ever played yeah yeah especially when you take into because you can put god of war side by side and be like yeah god of war looks better but when you put into terms of like how the game is and god of war being a you know hub linear type of you know game as opposed to red dead where it's one limit screen in the beginning and everything is loaded right you know like i still like think you're in a map yeah since you brought up god of war i still think kratos is like best looking character model i've ever seen oh but 100%, as yeah. a game i think it's prettier red dead i think everything in this game looks mm. nicer um interesting okay and because yeah even before red dead i thought Horizon was still best looking game I've ever played. Yeah, and like yeah. even beating I mean, God of War, I still put Horizon over God of War, all around. Oh. I think Kratos is still the standout of God of War. I think his character model okay. is fantastic. He's the most like best looking single model I've ever seen. Right, right. But again, all things considered, Horizon got retired by Red Dead Two for me at least. Yeah, yeah. In in terms of Red Dead versus Horizon. Before Red Dead came out, Horizon was the best looking open world game of all time that I've ever played. Obviously, right? Mm. And this um, is strictly on console because I know PC it gets PC. Yeah, yeah. Also, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll also, to keep that in mind. But um, definitely, I feel Red Dead looks a lot better than Horizon, of course. But at least in my head, as I'm remembering God of War, I feel like it looks better. But again, there's some stuff I haven't played in God of War. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I'm not sure. If that's just me, like, remember on, but also that's to also, you know, keep in mind that Red Dead, again, is a open world game. Right. And God of War is a mostly linear experience. There are hub open world type of, you know, type of things, but it's mainly a linear game. So that's also also something to take into account. So So moving past uh, the visuals. All said looks great. Moving yeah. past the visuals, I want to say that it's interesting for me we were talking about this a little bit before we started recording Mm -hmm. um last week's episode to actually two weeks ago we talked about red dead redemption did a recap Mm -hmm. 
and Red Dead is my second favorite game ever. And mm-hmm. I was telling you, it's interesting because I put so much time into Red Dead, the first one, and I was just having a fun time playing and existing in that world. And it didn't really dawn on me that it is one of my favorite games of all time until after the fact, like finishing it, seeing that ending, looking back on my time with that game. Like as I was playing it, I was like, this is great. I'm having a great time, but it wasn't, this is top five, you know? Right. So it's interesting going into red dead two because I've made the, I've said this before. I wasn't really hyped going into Red Dead 2, like the past couple, like leading up a couple days beforehand, I was more excited than I had been, but mm-hmm. even then it wasn't the same way I've been excited about getting my hands on Spider-Man finally, or seeing God of War come to a close, something like that, you know? Just yeah, yeah. the way it was leading up to Red Dead, I sat down, played through my three hours, and ever since my first session, I've ha- been having a great time. Like, I'm having fun playing the game. I haven't felt the need to obsessively sit down whenever I get a free moment to play it because I've been watching a lot of TV, catching up on shows, right. and I couldn't right. be, be playing Red Dead in that time, and I'm choosing not to. Wow. But, again, this isn't wow. anything about the quality of the game. I think it's a very good video game. I just... Comparing it to Red Dead 1 is weird because I played Red Dead 1 so slow. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, do you think you will play this game slow? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to beat this by the end of this year. I might just really take my time with it. Interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm definitely on the trajectory of, you know, once I get through Odyssey, to just go fully in to this game. Unless Fallout is somehow amazing and that sucks me in, which I, I don't know if it will. But, uh, you know... If Fallout doesn't, then I'm gonna ride this out to the end of the year, 100. Mm-hmm. percent as, as my like, as my like my main open world game. So, I guess when I, I don't know, because like, I don't know how. Well, I for you, take this, it's like, I guess interesting too yeah, no, because but, you mentioned that, like your second play session, you wanted to just get back to Assassin's Creed because you're way more invested into that story at this point. You put way more time into it than Red Dead, and you were just yes, feeling the need what, to go back yeah, to that, it, right? That's yeah. That's so I'm gonna describe the same thing yeah that i told you like that was just that like yeah so uh day two of uh red dead being out i had like six hours uh of like a block to play it right so i'm like okay cool bet i'm gonna do full six hours just just, just full check of time it's gonna be all red dead experience it let me you know just get a nice grasp for the game whatever um and like i was like two hours in and i kept thinking like man like drag me you know, like it'd be really cool to really cool to play Odyssey right now. You know, and like, and and like, I remember as I was riding my horse, uh, riding my horse, wow, riding my horse in Red Dead, like thinking, like, man, like, is it bad that I want to go play Odyssey right now? Like, is it is that is that telling of how I feel about the game? Because like, if if anyone would have, were to ask me, you know, during that time and even right now, I'd say no. Like, I'm. I'm enjoying Red Dead too. Like it's not like I don't like the game. It's not like I'm, you know, just struggling and forcing myself to play it. I don't feel like it's a force to play it at all. But I, I don't, I don't know. Like it's it it's it's really weird. And it's like I think I think I know. Like I, I think when you boil it down, it's just that like I think both of us especially are just in this beginning half of the game, right? Because like for me, I just played Red Dead One. You know what I'm saying? And uh, for me, I didn't get sucked in, sucked in, and I like, didn't, like, obsess over it until I got to Mexico. Yeah, right? and it's interesting you're like, talking about that, too, because, again, I, I don't like comparing games like this, but if you're talking about the Mexico moment, right? probably that amount of time comparative to the entire experience, that's sort of where you are in Assassin's Creed right now, right? Like, you're about halfway through, a little over half. I'm I'm You're close to the over, end. Right? I'm I'm very yeah, I'm like very close to the end. I'm like a few missions out, yeah. yeah so, so I'm definitely gonna beat it within like I think honestly I have probably one more long play session, like I'm done. Yeah. For the most part. It, yeah, and it's yeah. I think it's rough because like you said, Odyssey's kinda holding me back from really diving in. And I think that yeah. might just come with the time of the year we're in, you know? 
And yeah, especially yeah. with what like the position we're in with having to cover games like this, it's usually right. an extra stress of trying to keep up with what's current. Mm-hmm. Um, For sure. Yeah, yeah, because I really do love Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I had, I, or at least I felt like I had an obligation to getting into Red Dead fast, you know? But, like, sitting in it now, thinking about it, again, I don't know how fast I'm going to get through Red Dead. Maybe once they talk about online, that's going to push me to be like, okay, I should finish the story before online drops and maybe get back to Assassin's Creed in that gap period. I don't know, because I do really want to finish Assassin's Creed. But moving past Mm -hmm. the Assassin's Creed comparisons... um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't know. And so, like, eventually, like, in that PlayStation, I did end up going over to Odyssey after, like, hour three, mm-hmm. you know? Like, because it was hour two where I was like, man, like, kind of want to play Odyssey. Mm-hmm. And then I ended up playing Odyssey an hour after, you know? Mm-hmm. And and I think a lot of it, of course, like, just to kind of somewhat, I guess, explain myself is that, like, I, you know, put that Odyssey for Red Dead at a time in Odyssey, in the story wise, where like a lot of things were kind of coming together, a lot of things were happening, and so I was definitely like a lot more excited about that story per se than starting this new one. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to see Odyssey through, like I want to see that story play out, see how it goes. You know, so I think obviously, you know, one would be more inclined to see how a story, you know, finishes out as opposed to starting a new one while you're still almost finishing a story that you already started, you know? Yeah. So I think that was a, I think that was like a big deal of it as well, which is that like, oh man, you know, do that. And like also, also I think a lot, I've been, I don't know if you've been seeing this a lot on Twitter and stuff like that, but I've been seeing a lot of debate of like, is Red Dead Redemption 2 fun to play? Like, is it fun? You know what I'm saying? Like from a, from a gameplay perspective, I've been seeing a lot of that. Yeah. You know? On, I made this, again, another comparison. I um, mm-hmm. I texted my buddy, uh, again, Omar. I texted him this because we had a similar discussion for something else. Um, Shout out to Omar. Shout out to Omar. I said to him that after the first, like, couple days, by, like, Saturday after Red Dead dropped, I texted him and I was like, man this is going to turn into another last Jedi where I don't want to talk to anybody on the internet about this game. Oh, because really? I've, se- I've seen so many like really whack takes about red dead, like yeah. similar to that movie. Again, we, we don't have to talk about it, but like similar to that, there's <laughs> so many different wild out there takes I've seen that it just like drains me. <laughs> I mean, like I saw, I, I saw, seen... I saw no, somebody. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, I saw somebody complaining. Uh, like they again, they don't even own the game. They're talking about the impressions they've seen. They were saying right. like, "Oh, uh, how can you give a ten out of ten to something that controls bad?" And then like two days later, they were like thinking about picking up Red Dead, like that kind of stuff I'm like yeah, alright I'm ready yeah. to just shut off and not talk about like I'll talk to you about it obviously because this is an actual quote unquote face to face discussion about it yeah. and we're both sort of on the same page with it I feel yeah yeah mm-hmm. but, yeah. Um, I think I yeah it's interesting that you already brought up the controls because that is the thing that we discussed and um, I guess I kind of just sidetrack into that whole conversation just to get out of the way just to get it said yeah um so during my first play session of it while I was streaming, right, like, um, you know, I was just playing it, whatever, and then it was, like, towards the, like, three-hour mark where I'm like, man, like, I don't know if this controls great. Like, I don't know what it was. What actually, what it was, it was, it was my first gun battle that I had. It was my first combat scenario I had. Oh, when you go Red to the Dead 2. Yeah, 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 where yeah. I'm like, man, like. I don't know if I'm just not used to how this game feels. I don't know what it is. You know, maybe I'm not getting the mechanics correctly as of right now. Because obviously, it was I was only two hours in, three hours in. So, you know, of course, I don't understand the full complexity of the game, whatever. But then I, I kept playing more and more. I'm like, man, like, I just don't... Like, this... It just didn't feel good to control. That's interesting. Know? Especially because you just finished the first Red Dead. Yeah, that is what I'm shook about too. Cause like, man, like I don't remember Red Dead One feeling this like 
sluggish and floaty. Like that's how like I felt. Mm-hmm. You know, I felt like I just I just felt like I would you know do a input on my controller and it would take like two seconds for that for it to actually happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, maybe it's input lag. I don't know, right? And so I did mess with the settings and like there are some settings that you can do on Red Dead 2 to um, control the aim and look acceleration and the aim and like dead zones. So you turn all those up um, because by default they're about I think at halfway. But uh, you know I I turn those up full. And I'm having a lot better time control wise. Like I'm it, it to like to me when the controls were on default, it felt like sub part of the GTA five. Like it felt like it felt really bad. But then now it feels a little bit like now it feels on point with GTA five, in my opinion. So All right. yeah, um, I, I now yeah. I understand that, but I can counter that with I don't think Rockstar has ever made a game that controls very well. 100%. That is something that we also discussed as well. Like, yeah, even the that, first Red Dead, I'm 100%. running into issues I remember from the first Red Dead of, like, cover. Sometimes I don't start the going into cover animation, and then I spam cover, and then I, like, go into an animation loop of, like, covering and not covering. Yeah. Uh-huh. That happened to me all the time in the first Red Dead. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think GTA 4 feels awful play. I think GTA 5 even doesn't even feel that great. Red Dead, yeah. the original all right Mm -hmm. this one Mm -hmm. it's it's weird because again a lot of the impressions i've seen like sounds so surprised but like i went into this expecting a rockstar game and i'm playing a rockstar game you know well no i mean like i wasn't say i was i was like surprised at how bad it felt like i i know how rockstar games too and i feel like everyone should know that and i feel like those that are you know ignoring the fact that this is a rockstar game control wise I think they're just absurd. I think I think they just want to, you know, just say anything negative just to get clicks. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I feel, right? So I feel like if you're really surprised about uh these 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 controls and like how it feels, unless you've somehow never played a Rockstar game, I can see that. Right? Yeah. But well, I mean if you like play I a Rockstar your game, complaint. Like I, yeah, I, I get yes, that. Yeah, like, and I get being not wanting to spam X to run. I get that, but that it's GTA fives like that. Uh, yeah, there is a toggle yeah. you can activate, which I did in this, but it's kind of pointless because, yeah, now I'm able to just press X and Arthur will run while the stamina's there. But if I'm riding my horse to speed up, I still have to match X. So like, oh really? Yeah. Oh, so that that doesn't translate to the horse? No, oh, well, just huh. just on Arthur. Wow. But damn. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of. Weird. And I have seen yeah, a lot like of people sharing just... like quick fixes for stuff. Yeah. Like uh, hold down options to open the map. Yes, I've seen that one shared all the God. time. That helps. That is, that is God sent. Oh my God, that is God sent. I read that like the second day I was playing. I'm like, oh my God, thank God. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. oh, if I had to go the full playthrough by having a two step button thing to go to the map, that'd be insane. But, um, yeah, yeah. So I mean, controls. Honestly, if you're really upset, I don't know how you're upset. It's 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 Rockstar. Yeah, and, like you know, I do understand people is. having issues with it. It's just like I said this isn't anything different than what rockstar has done in the past yeah so i wasn't really upset about it i knew i was gonna have to mash x to run the second before i even looked at anything about this game yeah like i knew that's what they were gonna do Mm -hmm. and i don't know i want to bring up characters Uh, yeah we can get into that that. i i just like i'm just talking like base level like descriptions of the characters um, I'm not talking anything like spoilery about these characters right. per se and what they do in the game. So, but yeah. the gang has some familiar faces uh-huh. and some new ones. Indeed. I have enjoyed pretty much every interaction with yeah. the gang, old and new. Mm-hmm. That intro, when you first get into the cabin, you hear Dutch's speech. Loved that. Oh, that was great. Oh my gosh. It, oh, like, can we... Can we talk about Dutch for a little I bit? Really I really like think, Dutch I so far. I love Dutch, yeah. right? Because because it's just so crazy to like so if you play the first Red Dead, right? The Dutch is just not He's nuts. The same person. And and John does talk about that. He's like, yeah, like after the game broke up, uh, you know, Dutch just like uh, he went switch yeah. flipped in him, and and he and like he went crazy, right? So like we like see him be crazy, and like at least my subject was like, oh, okay, like like maybe he'll be, you know, probably there's still like an element of Dutch from Red Dead One in Red Dead Two, obviously, because like same person, but 
it is crazy how much different he is in Red Dead 2. Like, he's caring, he's nice, he's compassionate, he really wants to look out for these game members, and, like, there was a conversation that you have early on, um, where, 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 like, it's like, yeah, you know, we are just a gang, but there's a difference between Dutch's gang, mm-hmm. and how Dutch treats the gang, yeah, you know, it's and that's, like, because, very, yeah. Like you were saying early on, there is a rival gang you can encounter, yep. and you end up interacting with one of the gang members and you're walking through a mission with him, John, and I think Javier. I think it's Javier. Yeah, and you're talking to this guy, Kieran, from a rival gang, and Mm -hmm. he's like, you know, my gang's not that different from yours, and then you get to see Javier and John defending Dutch and talking about how Dutch's gang is different, like you just said. Yeah. And, yeah, I, I can really see the good in Dutch that John sort of reminisced about in the first game in certain instances. Uh-huh. You know, there were some times where he's like, yeah, Dutch raised me, but like he did go crazy. And he yeah. had that, yeah, he it's... had some sort of fondness in it and some characters did question it. And yeah, I can right. see where that would come from. Cause I've really enjoyed everything with Dutch so far. Yeah. But yeah, there it's... is the hint of crazy. There is the hint of something I... going wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, have to look for it a little like... bit. Do you see this? I mean, I don't. I, this I don't isn't really a spoiler. This thing. isn't a spoiler. Go ahead. So maybe, maybe I know, and like maybe you might have I missed this. Forgot, but go ahead. Because I yeah, texted my friend forgot. who was playing this too, and he missed it. Okay. Um, go ahead. So I think after one of the first missions in the mountain, you are okay. able to you wake up out of bed as Arthur, and then the game prompts you. It says, "Hold this button to open Arthur's journal." Right. Did you open his journal? Yes. Did you go all the way to the beginning? I just skimmed it. I didn't really go into it. Because there's, like, there's uh, probably like four or five pages worth of stuff you can read through of stuff that happened before the game started. Oh, okay. So I there's a lot that. of stuff in there. It's not necessarily about Dutch, but you right. get to see Arthur's feelings towards Dutch. Like, right. professionally, not personally. You get to see... Oh. I'll give a couple examples. Like, he's talking about how him and Jose have this real estate thing they're working on, this job they can do, some scheme they can pull, bringing the gang tons of money in Blackwater. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, on the low key. And then he's like, yeah, me and Jose, we got this thing lined up. It's going to be pretty great. Dutch is really set on robbing this boat. I don't, We don't think it's a great idea, but he wants to do it. And there's a lot of stuff mm-hmm. like that, a lot of stuff about him and Jose not really supporting Dutch all the time. Right. And right. I think that's interesting when you pair it with the fact that when we first meet the gang in the game, Arthur has no idea really what happened to make them go on the run. He's like, hey, what happened on that dock? Like, what happened on that boat? Yeah. What went down? And you hear some people yeah. be like, oh, Dutch blew this girl's head off. And Arthur's like, what? You know, like, there's a lot of questioning of a Dutch. And yeah. I just thought having the journal there really sets up Arthur's stance with him and I feel like that's going to be interesting moving forward hmm. so if you haven't yeah, read it I'd, I'd recommend reading it yeah I, I'll definitely go back and read it no for sure but like I have skimmed through the journal and I didn't see that part mm-hmm. but I am seeing like a lot of interesting elements that tell a lot about Arthur like when you okay so like if you play Red Dead 2 right and if you don't look at the journal at all right like, like if you just turn the blind out of it whatever like you don't pay attention to it um you would think Arthur is just, you know, this specific character, right? This, you know, person that he is in in gameplay, whatever. Mm-hmm. But when you look in the journal, like, he's sketching. He's, like, reflecting on things that he did and things that he's done in the game that you did and done. Mm-hmm. Like, and it updates him, pretty frequently. You know? Yeah, yeah, it updates frequently. And, like, it is it is really interesting. There's a lot of to context me, at least. in like, it. It's, yeah, it's just it because it, you like get to see like inside of John's head. Uh, not, I'm sorry, John <laughs> Arthur's head. Right. Um. You you just get to see like a lot in just just just, just how because it's I don't know like it's like it's almost like he. So there's a moment in camp that I played today, right, where one of the ladies I was dancing with her because we were having a party, whatever. Um. And, like, she's like, oh, hey, like, come dance. Like, you know, hopefully you're not as angry and sad as you always are whatever. Mm-hmm. And then John's like, oh, like, do you, like, really, really think that Arthur. of me? And, like, 
I, is it John again? Do I, like you're saying John? I'm sorry. Arthur. Um, and like, uh, it's almost like Arthur is really hiding like a lot of himself. Yeah. A lot, you know? Yeah. And like, I, I just. I, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say it's interesting you say that because, again, one of the things I was worried about going in was Arthur's character. And yes. I really yeah. enjoy his character a lot. I think he's great. That is good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I, yeah. I don't. I don't love him per se. Right. I'm not obviously on the level. You know, on like how much I love John. But obviously, I'm a few hours in. I'm not anywhere near the the amount of time I spent with John. Right. Right. So that's obvious. Right. But I am right now. Li- I I am liking John. I like him a lot more after some things I played today that we talked about as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely liking him a lot. So uh, you know, I think I think Arthur's has an uphill, you know, uh, type of angle to how much I like it. Yeah, so definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they feel like an Arthur. And yeah. it's it's um, interesting too because um, when we were talking about hopes for Red Dead Two, we were talking mm-hmm. about the fate of Arthur. Again, no spoilers because right. I don't know anything about it. But mm-hmm. right, there's if he he's not in the first game, which takes place after this, so he either walks away or dies or something else happens. And I was playing it the other day. I was like, damn, I'm going to be sad if he dies because I like him. Yeah. Like, I genuinely enjoy him. Yeah, 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 man. But that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's just good to hear because I know you were, you were. That was one of my biggest fears. One of your big worries. Yeah, for sure. You're like, man, like, I really hope like Arthur Kevin, like, I don't know, man. Mm. I hope I do. Yeah. So uh, we did talk. You mentioned him a few times, so we might as well address it. Uh, John. Yes. John is in this game. My boy, John. I'm glad. Oh, wait, mm, that's that's. Uh, never mind. Go ahead. Keep talking. So, I almost said something. But go okay. ahead. <laughs> um, the interactions with John so far very limited because you have to go find him in the prologue right. of the game. Uh, uh-huh. Nice reveal. You see, you like the camera yep. pans around. He's sitting down on underneath a cliff. Nice reveal yep. of John Marston. Uh, and right. then he's yeah. love it. Bedridden for most of the prologue. Yeah. You can't talk to him. Uh, it's funny that uh, Arthur and John have sort of a, a rivalry. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They have a beef. Yeah. They don't like each other that much. Part of me Which hopes it's like a meta thing itself. of like, yeah, we know everybody loves John. So, like, Arthur's going to have it out for him because he know like, everybody loves John and people were oh. like, like, is Arthur going to be good? Like, I think they might have oh. had that relationship in there with that angle in mind, you know? From the jump, yeah, interesting. Okay, no, I, I totally didn't even think of that. Yeah, because Arthur's no, like, like yeah, John, yeah. you spoil a little kid, you know, like acting yeah, like yeah, oh, no. and he gets the better treatment. Yeah. Oh man, that's wow. how I've read I it totally so far. It. Yeah, I, t- I mean, I was just waiting for him to explain like why, you know, what, what, well, it is explained. Yeah. Why Arthur, you know, dislikes John, mm-hmm. uh, you know, as of right now through a mission you play. Right. But um. Even that in itself is interesting too. That whole thing, which we won't get into, at least on podcast. But like you know, even that in itself is also. There's just, I think like the overall thesis that I'm having for this game. I think maybe you are too. Just like I'm just, it's. This is a big game, right? This is a big game. Okay, you even said that you might not even beat this game this year. You know, like um, I have no motive. Not motivation, but I have no carrot on the stick. Like, the only thing I could see being that is online. Like, if online is going to have a benefit, for me at least, in my head, of having completed the story, like, I get a better understanding of the world layout for online, or I have a better understanding of the mechanics that get introduced later in the game, stuff like that. Right. So, yeah, online might be the motivator for me to get through it before it launches. Right, right. I mean, just like for me, definitely like I, I, I guess I'm still in this phase of I'm still impressed every time I play it. I'm still intrigued by something, mm-hmm. you know, like there's there's like always something to be shocked about. And there's, there's actually one thing I want to talk about as well, which um, uh, throughout the game, you get these like random encounters that you can choose to do or not to do. Right, and that these will the these are a part of uh, kind of like how the game, I guess, determines your overall like honor level. You know, because like you can still be good or bad in this game, 
Right. And uh, a lot of ways to affect that is to do these little encounters that happen. They pop up on the map when you're traveling, right? So I just got done with the mission. It was it was a it was like a bit away from camp, but not not too far. But it was like a bit away from camp, and uh, I was making my way back, and I see this woman on on the on the side of the road, and she's trapped under she's trapped under her horse. I did this one the other right? day. Yeah, so I'm like, oh man, like I want to go help her out, help her out. You know, she mentions that she needs to go back into town, so I'm like, all right, cool, I'll give you a ride, let's go. So she's talking about how. Uh, you know, she got a tip from this man, and the man offered her a job as a seamstress for him, and he'll pay for uh, her food and her child's food and board and everything. And so Arthur, you know, is just listening, you know, and he and he says, "Hey, uh, you know, maybe that wasn't the best idea, too good right? To be maybe true. it seems, yeah, yeah, like like maybe it seems maybe it seems like a little bit too good, you know, too good to be true, whatever." She's like, yeah, you know, I guess you're right, but I, I, I have to try. I at least have to see if maybe it could be a thing that could be good for me and good for my kid. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I go in the town, drop her off, whatever. And she says something like, "I'll never forget you, Arthur Morgan," or like something, something like that. Like, like some line that indicated that you know, I made a positive impact on this woman's life, and she'll re- she'll remember me for that, right? And I've heard through other people that have played that they have done similar things whether it be helping and saving a gentleman or anything like that for just helping in any sort of way in the world whatever and one person i was hearing you know with his experience was that he went like eight hours removed from that experience from that um you know, side thing, whatever, and like he was like a few missions down, and a completely different part of town, different part of the world, whatever. And that same guy that he helped was there, hanging out with friends, and pulling them out. I was like, "Oh, yo, Arthur, hey man, like, what's up?" And like, I thought that was like, "Whoa, like, if that happens, like, dude, that's like, there's just so much detail in this game that like I didn't think there would be." You know, like, to, like, this depth, you know? Yeah, I actually like, had an encounter like that. Is it the same one that I had, or...? Well, I did do that mission with the lady, but there was another one I did. Um, I was riding up towards the f- first town in the game, and there was a guy who ran onto the road screaming that he got bit by a snake and he was going to die. So uh-huh. I could have just kept riding, but if I wanted to interact with him, I could either suck the venom out of his leg, or I could give him... Uh, bottle of medicine. So I did too. Yeah, I gave him a bottle of medicine. Yeah, and I uh, ran into him a couple like probably hour and a half later, I, probably a day or two later in town. I saw I was going into the gunsmith, I think, and he was sitting outside talking to this guy, and he was like, "Oh, hey, you're the guy who saved me. You know what? If you're going to the gun store, just it's on me. Anything you want. No way. Yeah." So he what? was sitting in front of the gun store, talking to some dude. I walk by. He said, hey, you saved me. Go in and grab something on me. So, and again, this was like probably within the first five hours I put into this game. So the store was closing down, so I had to wait a day. But I went back in, and every single thing in the catalog, it said $0. So I could just pick something. Get out. So I picked the bandolier. What? So that's how I got the like dude. super deluxe bandolier <laughs> very early in the game. Dude, I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that, that would that would happen. Now, now I'm curious as like where where can I meet the girl that I helped? Like I, I have no idea. Yeah, where, like uh, like I don't know probably, if it's gonna be everybody. Town. Like I don't know if yeah. everybody you help is gonna have an interaction like that. But it, I that is really yeah. cool. Wow, mm-hmm. that's insane. And also, one thing I just saw about too was that um, it was like my first play session, and um, well, no, it was it was I think my third, or whatever. It was like definitely I was into the game definitely, and um, I was doing some hunting, doing some skinning uh, of some animals for camp and everything and uh, stuff like that. And I I was on my way back and I sold meat, but I forgot to take off the skins off my horse, mm-hmm. right? And so I'm like, okay, Kevin, just make sure to do that. But I had a mission I want to do. So I just went and did the mission, whatever. And, like, hour, hour goes by. The skins are still on my horse. Mm-hmm. You know, three hours go by. 
the skins are still on my horse. I exit out the game, you know, go to work, school, whatever. I come back the next day, load up the game. The skins are still on my horse. Oh, wow. A second day went by mm -hmm. of, like, real, real-time real actual, you know, my real life, whatever. I came back, like, a third day. The skins were still on my horse. Like, that... I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's insane. Like, that was just wild to me because, like, you would assume that, you know, they would reset or something like that or, mm -hmm. you know, it it just wouldn't be there. But they they stayed there for that long, you know? Yeah, I'm just... So just, yeah, the detail is insane. Yeah, I'm yeah. really impressed. That's the thing I wanted to mention quick was the just the detail of the world and everything you can do. Uh, yeah. It's... I was riding down through the mountains going back into the first town and it was like sun was setting it was nighttime and i was dri i was driving i was riding by this house on the outskirts of town and there were these two dudes looking into the window of this house and then i walked up to them and they they ran away and they were like oh so they like i scared them and they ran and then you can look into the window and then it's like if you look in i think it's like the banker or some wealthy guy hired a woman of the night and w she was spanking him mm. Mm. and then oh. like if you look oh, too long okay. they notice and then she runs over and shuts the curtain huh <laughs> so just like stuff like that is really small like I've seen thing people talk about things like that uh, things like birds just naturally going into the grass grabbing a snake and flying off um, yeah the way people treat was, you if you're I dirty it, like if you roll into the mud actually I wish I recorded this. I wish I recorded this, right? So I was I was just on my horse, just ran uh, into town, I believe. And there was this dude, and, like, it seemed like he was, like, struggling with his horse. I don't know if, like, he was trying to tame this horse, but it it seemed like it was his horse. Because, like, it, the, the horse wasn't, like, doing that kicking when you're trying to tame a new horse. It was just acting a little bit weird, whatever, right? So he it gets off his horse. And he's like trying to pet the horse and trying to like, trying to um, trying to calm the horse down, or whatever. And the horse kicks the crap out of him, and he's knocked out. Yeah. And the horse kind of just like sits there for a little bit, looks at the guy, and just kind of just walks away. <laughs> and like he just straight out cold. So I went looted him, as I do, mm -hmm. you know, and I went about my way. So there, it was that. There, yeah. There's one last thing I want to touch on. Of course. Yeah. It's, I've been, pr like, again, I'm positive on this game. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to go through it uh -huh. slow. There right. are two issues I can think of that I want to bring up quick. Okay. The first is a bug that I heard about recently. Uh, so I don't know if you heard about this, but it's potentially damaging, I guess, to your relationships with some people. Um, so there's this bug that prevents some characters from spawning in your camp. I did. I did. So that. it's interesting yeah. because the woman you rescue in the mountains, Sadie, I've seen her once this entire chapter. Uh -huh. So I think that might be an instance of that bug. Uh -huh. I haven't seen Abigail and Jack in probably about three hours of playtime. Oh, my God. No, no. Way. John. Oh, no. Man, I've I want to check. I haven't out. seen I'll John a right ton, but I always assumed that maybe he's in like he's on watch. Maybe he's out doing a mission, but because that's what I thought about Abby on Jack. I was like, maybe they're just in town. Maybe they're off doing yeah. something. But yeah, apparently it could be a bug that is preventing me from interacting with characters of my gang. Uh, that's a big yikes. That's a bit. I mean, I. Other, I mean, I like sought out John. Well, I do have a mission for John on my map, so I know that he he's still chilling. Right, I I'm don't assuming. though, and I'm ahead of you, and I haven't done a mission for John. Excuse me, for we John. We did talk about that. Yeah. Oh snap! Oh wait a minute! Oh wait! Oh wait a minute! Yo, you might be bugged, dude. Yeah. So I, I think I'm gonna yeah, stop doing story stuff for a little bit and just do some side things and see if it gets patched. Yeah, yeah, so because patch because we were talking and we're trying to like you know figure out okay where are we at in the game without spoiling each other in case one of us is like way further in the game than we thought, you know. So we were both in chapter two, whatever, and then 
I have a mission from John, yeah. But it looks like we're around the same percentage. I, yeah, I, I have I, 16 I'm, if you're 15, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like 15. Yeah. So we, in theory, should be very, very close, if not right on the dot on the same time. Yeah, the only story you know? mission I have left on my map right now is from Jose. Mm, and he's in, I like, have, Emerald I have, Ranch or something. Yeah, yeah. I have I have one from both John and Jose. Yeah, yeah so I, but, we'll see what happens. Huh. But I'll see, yeah, I'll see. The other thing I wanted to mention, too, was something that I saw brought up here and there. But, um... Okay. It's not a huge issue, again, because it is similar to how in the first Red Dead Redemption, John, his character, it made sense for him to be the good guy. Right. Arthur is not a great guy. Like, he's still a villain, yeah. you know? Like, he's still in a gang, he's still an outlaw. Mm-hmm. There's been some instances where I ha- either haven't had the decision to do what I would have done in a scenario, or... Not like a full, I want a million scenarios, but just an option that's more in line of what I was thinking. Right. Like, I've been forced to do villainous things, which yeah. I don't necessarily have a problem with because it is his character. Like, he is a bad guy. He would do this for the gang to get this done. Uh-huh. But it's, yeah, it's strange because I still don't feel right doing the bad thing like in my head it's like oh arthur should be doing the good stuff like i haven't robbed anybody yeah we this is this is something we talked about as well yeah because that's i'm on the same boat you know and like obviously it's very clear the game constantly reminds you that yes you're in the game gang arthur is a bad person right and again it's not a huge issue for me it's just like there's been parts where I'm like, oh, God, I have to do this. All right, I guess I'm going to do it. Bang. Sorry, you're yeah. dead. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't say I'm, like, putting, you know, having the controller down and not playing the game because of it or whatever, but I do feel, like, bad. Yeah, and that could be intentional. I like, I feel to. like that might be intentional for certain instances. Right, right. Like, um, again, no spoilers, but there's so many you have to collect the debt from. And yeah, yeah, you get into an animation of you're holding them, and it's like threaten, beat, or one other thing, I think. And the walk away one was grayed out. Like, you can walk away unless you beat him a certain amount of times. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to keep beating this guy. Like, I hit him twice, and I threatened him a bunch. Like, is that enough? And I had to hit him I, one more time. Yeah, I mean, I I usually just do a mix of, like, threatening and beating, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I try to but... just threaten. Yeah, like yeah. I had to and kill some people because of like mechanics going wrong, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, and like again, like I totally understand why because you know he's a bad guy, mm. but I still don't want like it, it's it's I don't know it's all yeah it's, it's not a it's knock a, against it's a the thing. game it's just like yeah it's definitely a thing. I found myself yeah. being more excited about making my own cowboy for red dead online to have my own decisions to make about like oh i could be just straight up good like having the freedom i guess is something that's i've thought of a few times where it's been like okay l2 to interact shoot beat threaten like okay i gotta do one of these i guess i'll just threaten them you know and sometimes that doesn't Uh, work yeah yeah so i load up the game i don't see abigail or jack yeah, so I've been lo- I've been I've been looking for a minute. Um, yeah, I mean I see my boy Lenny. Shout out to Lenny. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'm not I'm not seeing Jack or Abigail. So that's a bit concerning. So by next that's episode, we will both report on if Sadie, Jack, John, and Abigail have shown up again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened, but uh, they're uh, straight not here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but John's still here. Okay, well that's that, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, John is still in the cut mm-hmm. doing his thing, but I am not seeing Jack where I would go, unfortunately. But yeah, so as it stands now, Red. overall, very positive, having a great time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, 100%. I'll leave with this as my last comment. I'm probably about 10 hours in. Gotcha. I don't think it's going to dethrone God of War as my goatee. That is... 
That's what I feel as yeah. well. That's what I feel. Yeah, that's why. Unless... Because, again, we, back half yeah. of Red Dead 1, crazy good. Yeah. Could be the same and case here. Honestly, when we were talking about God of War, you know, I made a case where I'm like, dude, like, and we're talking, like, personal enjoyment of... Oh, wait, I have Sadie. All right, that's good. I have Sadie. Okay, sorry, but I found Sadie. But, um, no, so, um... So, I mean, like, even when we, you know, we had a conversation about, you know, God of War, I mean, not, not God of War, um, got, <laughs> Game of the Year, and um, I was saying, like, you know, if it's off of, like, pure enjoyment from, like, a personal standpoint, like, the second half of Red Dead rivals God of War for me. Like, I, like, just in terms of, like, enjoyment, yeah. right? So, I guess what I'll say is that, yes, at this current point, right, I'm gonna say I'm eight to ten hours in. I'm not 100 percent sure, but eight to ten hours in, probably probably ten at this point. Yeah, but at this at this point, uh, God of War is still definitely my favorite game of this year. Yeah, right? again, could change. But, yeah, Red Dead One. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, big difference between the first and second halves. So I'm still gonna roll with it. But yeah, and like that's the feeling. I right think now. like yeah, and I think if like there's a Mexico moment in this game where you know there's this part in the game where it just pivots and like it's a total shift of like what you've been doing you're in a new scenery something like if if like something drastic happens to like the overall kind of action and tone and narrative of the game mm-hmm. like mexico did for red dead one i think it has a chance to be god of war mm-hmm. but as of right now it's uh definitely looking like god of war definitely all right well if you want to hear live updates on the missing persons in both of our games where could the people find you online at the kds123 t-h-e-k-d-i-a-z-123 follow me on there on my hot takes and uh i'll be looking out for abby and jack day in day out gonna you know get some uh get some lanterns going in the forest you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i'm gonna find them I'm, I'm gonna find them i see dutch over here looking over the cliff that's interesting i never see him do that hmm. yeah i but haven't where? seen him leave this tent much <laughs> But, but you are not on a cliff. Where can they find you, my good sir? You can find me on Twitter at Chris N. Buckley. Probably tweeting about Red Dead. We got a we got a Nintendo Direct tomorrow morning. We do. That I'm probably uh, gonna be tweeting about. That, have you have you seen this Grinch theory? This yeah this, yeah yeah yeah. This I've whole seen, the, I've this, seen this that. whole crazy. But oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> I actually have something to plug real quick. Um, okay. Again, this PlayStation channel, but. If you're a fan of Nintendo, old Pokemon games, gonna start streaming. Twitch.tv slash joyclicks. By the time you're listening to this episode, first stream is in the bag. Friday's at 8 Eastern. I'll tweet about it. Get, but there you go. Get it. Get your net, get your Nintendo on. Get it. That's gonna be the po- that's it, gonna be the catchphrase. That 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 is yes. So Yep. That's that, 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 that's it. That, to think we were worrying about not having enough to talk about broken hour oh, what I so, this is the second cast where I feel like we've only talked for like 40 minutes and it ends up being like over an hour yeah well there you go you gotta That's have to upload man. this one on college it's, Wi-Fi it's uh, just our chemistry bud it's, it's uh, just our chemistry bud it is so but, that's yeah. gonna wrap it up that's a rodeo that's a roundup that's a yeehaw and a <laughs> shoot up, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and we're going to ride off into the sunset. Deal. Greatness awaits. <laughs> <laughs> He's a-